Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I'm at the tail end of 21 weeks. I know I did my first video diary at 21 weeks. I'll be, I'll actually be 22 weeks if everybody's calculations are correct on Monday. Um, I just wanted to speak about a couple of issues because I've I've been asked quite a few questions and usually, you know, I close myself to the answers. I don't want to address certain things to, to some people, but I just felt the need to speak out and, you know, if you hate me for it, so be it. But um, most of my YouTubers know that this is not, in fact, my first pregnancy. Um, I do have six other children. Um, this is, you know, this is not my seventh pregnancy, but, um, you know, hopefully this will be number seven living. I've gone through uh, quite a few complications in the past. Um, one which really influenced me to keep this baby because whether you know it or not I have um I have an 11 month old as a matter of fact he'll be a year old next week so when I first found out that I was in fact pregnant I had to be about three months or so and I was set to do a TV series I was supposed to play a main character and I had been preparing for that. I was really excited just getting my body together and everything and I noticed that I had been feeling tired uh, quite a bit and I got sick to the point where I went to the hospital where they then informed me that I am pregnant yet again. Um, honestly, my first thought was, oh no is it too late for an abortion? Um, I knew deep down inside that's not what I wanted to do and I didn't wanna make a choice to get an abortion based solely on the fact that, you know, I really wanted to do this TV series and everything because I've always been a mother first and um, I believe that if it's something that's meant for me, it'll it'll come to me for me. But I fought within myself for quite some time and I fought against what I knew was right to do, which was to keep the baby. And I just kept saying to everybody, you know, no, I'm not keeping the baby. No, I'm not keeping the baby. And, you know, when I'd be alone, with my belly I would just talk to her I feel like it's a her for some reason and I don't know just one day I just said well I need to stop saying that you know I'm gonna keep the baby and we've always been okay and I believe that you don't get rid of a baby or something because of you know you go oh well I can't afford it I've never been able to afford any of the children that I've had but I've had them anyway and we always made do and things are always looking better so I I myself cannot use that as an excuse um, one of the things that really made me know that I was going to keep this baby is that um before August, who was my 11 month old, um, I was pregnant and I was seven months pregnant and I went to my appointment and got my, um, they went to check the baby's heartbeat and couldn't find one. Well, they decided to give me an emergency ultrasound because this was not common. And in the ultrasound room, 
there on the screen is where I discovered that my baby was no longer alive. And it was a girl and I was devastated. I don't think I ever really got over that. So I, I kind of feel like this is almost like her energy coming back. Something felt really different about this pregnancy. So I could be right, I could be wrong, who knows, but the point is that she's here and, you know, I have Belly and she's moving around and I love her dearly and I talk to her all the time. Um, the size of my belly has not changed since I did the last video diary, but um, here it is. My 21, almost 22 week belly. So, I just wanted to share that. It's, it's very important for women, for you to go with your instincts oftentimes you'll have a partner that will say well this is not the right time and you know you need to get rid of the baby or you this that or the other listen to yourself follow your own heart um, I was blessed in that I didn't have that situation um, thank goodness but um whether I would have or not, I had to follow my heart, and um, and I did, and I'm much happier for doing so. It's just been a road, and I don't care how many times you've been pregnant, it's always scary, it's always new, there's just <laughs> it's just always a different experience so you know I may be seasoned at you know I've given birth but every pregnancy is different so this pregnancy is just so different from every other one you know they have similarities but it's like a fingerprint it's just n never the same so I wake up scared sometimes when I don't feel enough movement, you know, and I think that that has a lot to do with, you know, Yin, which was the one that I lost. We actually cremated her um, and put her ashes in an, in an urn and had a little ceremony and everything. But um, positive thinking always helps. And these video diaries have been helping me and it's giving me something to look forward to and something to talk about and putting positive energy into this pregnancy so for all of you people that decide to listen i'd like to say thank you um, thank you for helping me to funnel my positive energy and um, you all have a hand in, in helping me keep my energy up for the birth of my baby. So um, keep, the, keep the positive comments coming and I appreciate you listening to my ramblings on for what, nine minutes now. Wow, <laughs> if you're still here, you are the tops, man, you rock. So I just wanted to say again, thank you very much. Mwah. I'll be back in a few days with video diary number 22 and we have to talk about some breast issues in that one because I've been having some major breast issues. We've gone now from a 36 triple D back to a 36 F and I don't see any signs of stopping and I'm it's painful. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah.